Hi everyone, I wanted to follow up uh, on the original comparison video between these two because I do realise that um, at the end of that video I didn't really give you a definitive answer as to either which one of these was my favourite now or which one is the better figure if you're going to go for one of these. If money wasn't an object and you just wanted one, which one would you go for? Uh, I didn't really answer that. I'll go be honest, if you've seen that whole video, it was a long one and it was quite a task to film it all. There were multiple takes of certain parts. Uh, so what I've done is I've just made a little sort of bullet point kind of list here and I'm going to go through each section as quickly as possible uh, and just tell you which one is the better one in these categories so I'm going to start with uh, well I'll tell you the whole list uh, cowl accuracy likeness stock cape proportions posability durability as in how long will it last uh, fun factor accessories box and belt not in that order but those are the, uh, just the things that I thought of so I'm going to just do them uh, for you quickly. I'm going to try and keep the video as brief as possible and I hope it's helpful and I hope it does finally answer some of those questions for you. And uh, we'll see at the end of this which one comes out on top. All right, so the first one will be cowl accuracy. I'm going to give that to Necker. Uh, the ears seem to be the exact length. Uh, the ends of ears are slightly longer. Uh, also, the necks might be the exact same length. But I do get a feeling that the neck and neck is just a little bit more accurate, a little bit more thick. I'll just turn them to the side so you can get a little profile shot. And um, you can see for yourself. Yep, so I personally would give the cowl accuracy to the necker figure. I'll just zoom in on the grill. I think it is the more accurate of the two. The next one would be likeness. That's just Christian Bale under the cowl. Can you tell it's him? I hope you don't think I'm pussying out on this one, but I'm gonna call it a draw. Now, I think that's quite impressive for a figure that only costs 100 pounds to be tying with the high-end Enterbay. Yeah, as amazing as that is, I am very impressed with what Necker did, and I have to call it a draw. Get a more detailed look in the full comparison video but i'm going to give that one to both of them the next one would be stock cape and i will actually be giving that to the necker figure now the enter bay stock cape is not on the figure right now to see that watch the full comparison video i did actually change it back to my custom velvet cape now so it is the proper black against the you know the contrast that you should have here um i just think that as a stock cape situation goes Necker did a fantastic job um, it looks like velvet and it kind of feels like you know cheaper velvet but I can get it to hang quite nicely and uh, I enjoy working with the cape I can have both the looks like this or this um, I particularly like the way I can just show off the whole sort of suit um, but the stock cape on the interbay as nice as it feels and as lovely as it hangs it's just not black enough and it doesn't give you the right impression um, but it is a lovely feeling stock cape but it's just not black enough and it comes down to that really for me because that's one of the first things that struck me when I saw Batman Begins in the cinema and the scene on the docks when he's taken out the thugs was just the contrast like how black his suit was but how he managed to actually make his cape look even darker which you know I always love that so I'm gonna give the stock cape to Necker. Next up proportions kind of debatable to be honest uh, you could talk about that all day, but I'm going to give that again to Necker. There's just something about the proportions in this. Everything looks perfect, you know? It just looks... Let me back up. It just looks right. Not that the Enterbay doesn't, but I would give it honestly to Necker for proportions. Posability. I'll keep this bit very brief because it's pretty obvious. The Necker one will take that as well. It's fantastic for posing. You can do uh, pretty much any of the Batman poses you'd want to do from Batman Begins. The only thing I'd say is they didn't give you any hands that can kind of hold onto his cape. You get one hand that you might be able to, well, no, you don't really, but you just can't get these hands to hold onto the cape and have him spread his arms out and look like he's about to jump down off a rooftop. Yeah, that's the one thing you can't do with these hands or any of the hands they give you, but you can get him in all kinds of poses. And that's the one pose, that's like the arm test. I mean, it's a double jointed elbow. You can get it even more than that you know it's really really good and you'd never have to worry about a rubber suit cracking or anything like that so obviously the necker one will take it for posability 
That's about as close as I could get this one for that pose. So. Next one would be durability, and by that I simply mean which one do I think will kind of last the longest. You know, you can leave it in poses and you don't have to worry about things uh, rotting away or cracking, stuff like that. Um, now, while I do think that Interbay did a fantastic job on the kind of material that they selected to make this outfit, it's not rubber, it seems like more of a vinyl, like this bit here just feels so smooth and soft and kind of cool to the touch. Uh, it's a fantastic suit, but I wouldn't want to leave it like this for a long period of time because I'd be worried that something would happen. Whereas I'll never have to worry about that with this. I could leave him like that for years and come back, just change the pose. Simple as that. Uh, so keep it short and sweet. That you know, Necker takes that one too. Fun factor, I'll give that to Necker as well. Now there is a slight bit of fun factor of how realistic this one looks. Uh, that gives it a fair, you know, fair score on that one because taking photographs of the Enter Bay Batman especially if you're making it look like he's in a city or something, they can turn out very realistic. And I've fooled loads of people um, with pictures of this thing and they think it's the real guy, you know. But uh, fun factor, I'd have to give it to Necker because of just the posability. I mean, I've been posing him like crazy. I, I find a pose for him, I leave him on the shelf and then a few minutes later I think, oh, I want to try this. I try that and, you know, I'm having a lot of fun with it basically. So I have to give it to Necker as well for fun factor. Accessories I will give to Enterbay because of the fact that they give you three cowls uh, with interchangeable mouthpieces and each cowl has the eyes in a different position and you get a fantastic Bruce Wayne sculpt. Uh, but the thing that I didn't like was how cheap the accessories were, like the batarangs weren't metal, they were plastic and um, I didn't like that. But you do sure get a hell of a lot. You even get the mangler or whatever they call it from the beginning of the Dark Knight that uses to cut into Crane's van. You get that too, but that's kind of a very sort of cheap plastic feel. Uh, but you do get a hell of a lot of accessories with the Interbay. Uh, they did a fantastic job with the accessories. I like the way his uh, belt stuff is just attached on there and you don't have to worry about ever falling off. So I do like that. So fantastic accessories for this guy. But uh, technically you'd have to give it to Interbay for the accessories. So they take that one. Belt I'm going to give to Neca. I like the sort of deep bronze colour, it definitely seems more like the Batman Begins shade to me. Different colour belts for Batman Begins uh, and the Dark Knight and the Dark Knight Rises both had that much more gold. But yeah, I like the way the accessories are all on there. It's sculpted and painted really well, no complaints, fits, it's separate, you can move it up and down. The Enter Bay belt looks fantastic, um, but the accessories don't really magnate, <laughs> magnate is that a word? But they don't really magnetise to the belt very well um, and the back just watch the full comparison there's a situation with this belt legendary situation a bit of a shame but yeah Neka take it with the belt okay guys so we're all done and I think it seems pretty clear that Neka won most of those um, now as far as which one's my favorite I really can't call it I've got to tell you I love this look this kind of pose from a Batman Begins figure I just you know I think the Enter Bay one does that perfectly and a lot of people will have it in a pose similar to this because you just can't really get him in anything too um, dynamic and leave him like that for any kind of period of time without being really worried and it is an expensive figure so that's kind of your look I mean it kind of is turning into a statue situation it is a figure it's an action figure like I said in the big video Enterby Bill himself was very adamant about that this is an action figure but it's not really because that's an action figure that's what you should be able to do. Look at him, he's moving forward. He's about to slam that right home. Boom. Um, yeah, I love them both for different reasons. But there's always this whispering voice in my head whenever I'm asking myself this question lately, saying Necker. You know, the beast is, you know, it's gorgeous. But the Necker figure is just fun. I mean, you can pose the hell out of it. It always looks good. The joints, even though they're, they're there, because of the design of the suit and it's all black, they really don't jump out at you at all. You know, I never find myself looking at it thinking, ugh, the joints look hideous. I just don't ever think that. 
really impressive. I think NECA put a lot of passion into this. They obviously took, you know, they took their time. I remember seeing a video by NECA about something separate altogether about over a year ago. And way off in the distance, um, I thought I saw the end Bay Batman on a desk. That they must have been studying it to make their one. But it might have been a prototype. They've been working on this a long time. The accuracy and the things you can do with it and how good it always looks. NECA clearly have a passion for Batman Begins and that makes me happy because the Dark Knight is the one that always gets all the glory and I think Batman Begins is the best film of the trilogy, that's just me. I just love it and I'm so glad to see a company that I already respect like NECA do this thing such justice. So as far as which one should you get, I don't know man. Voice inside's telling me NECA but there's a other voice saying but that's the beast, it's the one you love so much for all this time. Things change, what can I tell you? Enjoy the video. I'll see you guys soon. Love them both, that's all I can say. But the Necker one is a hell of a figure, man. It's so much fun, look at that pose. I'll see you soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments how you found it all. Did you enjoy it? Did you find it helpful? Are you gonna come back? And check me out when I get Deadpool. <laughs> you know that's gonna be good. All right. I'll see you soon. Hope you guys are good. Oh, and uh, it was really cool to see, if you guys see this, Andre, Danny D, and Seb all together reviewing the Mad Max figure. That was really cool. Yeah, I'll see you guys soon.